making a butternut squash soup. This is a copycat recipe for a seasonal soup that a restaurant chain makes. So I'm using one fairly good sized butternut squash, a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, a can of coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk, some cinnamon, some curry powder, and the recipe calls for apple juice, but I am going to use water in that apple cider pouch, an onion cut up, and then I'm going to need some vegetable broth, and I'm going to use this better than bouillon vegetable broth made up and two cups of water for that. If you're faint of heart, you may not want to watch me cut up this butternut squash, but I am being very careful. It's very hard, and I know it looks like I don't have much control over it, but if you decide to cut it up, cut up a squash, just be sure to keep your fingers out of the way while you're doing it. I know this time of year a lot of grocery stores will already have butternut squash cubed up in the produce section. Or you can buy it frozen, cut into cubes, and ready to go that way. Or you could buy the frozen pureed squash that comes in the square packages. I haven't seen that for a while. I wonder if they still sell it that way. But all of those, those three things are different options if you don't want to cut up your own butternut squash. You'll just need the equivalent to a medium squash or about three pounds of cut up squash. Cutting the squash into about one inch chunks. Next, I'm cutting half to a little bit more than half of a very large 
sweet onion into the same size pieces as I did the squash. Drizzling with olive oil and seasoning with salt and pepper. And then I just take my hands to toss everything to make, every, make sure everything's well coated. This went into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 to 30 minutes until the vegetables got soft. And I actually really like doing vegetables this way. So if I were doing this for a side dish, I would probably increase the oven heat by 25 degrees so that the pieces would get more caramelized. And I don't know what happened, but I don't have the video of where I pureed the squash, onion, and the two cups of vegetable broth in the blender. But that's what that is in the crock pot. And I'm adding the package of apple cider mix to that. I put the cup of water that I needed to make the apple cider into the blender after I had pureed the squash and that kind of cleaned out the the pitcher of the blender. So I added that to the crock pot as well. I added a tablespoon of honey. If you wanted to keep it vegan, uh, leave the honey out and maybe replace it with some sugar or not. I added two teaspoons of curry powder and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And now I'm adding the can of pumpkin puree, a 15 ounce can. So then I just mixed everything together well and let it heat up on high for a couple of hours. Everything is cooked, so you're just trying to bring it up to um, a temperature where you want to serve it. About 30 minutes before serving, I added the can of coconut milk. The recipe calls for heavy cream, but I decided to try the coconut milk. Having never worked with it before, I was a little afraid that it would make the dish taste like coconut, but it didn't. It was really good. In fact, the soup was delicious. So here you have butternut squash soup. My daughter said that it's not spot on to the um, version that the restaurant makes, that it's a copycat of, but I thought it was really delicious nevertheless. And I'm planning on making it a couple more times this fall. I had planned on freezing the leftovers of this, but I'm afraid that they're not going to make it into the freezer. It's that good of a soup. So if you like squash, I hope you try it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.